What a game. Take a victory lap, take a bow, and take the headsets off and start to yell. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Esports U broadcast of the evening. The Overwatch regular season is beginning to wind down as we're preparing to spring into those playoffs. And, of course, I'm Tiny Shiny, joined by the wonderful Twin Salty to walk us through this final week of the regular season. Twin Salty, tell me about all your thoughts, seeing all these teams come together for an incredible season just to have it all end right here. Yeah, it is kind of a, a weird feeling, you know, the season coming to a close. It's been a, a very entertaining spring for sure. A lot of different metas that we've seen. And obviously, we just had a patch hit yesterday that MAGA mm -hmm. meta that I think everybody was kind of hoping would end is, is dead, yeah. thankfully. Like, it's, it's gone. <laughs> um, please never bring that back, Blizzard. Like, we think he's cool, but not, not that cool. Um, but I'm curious to see how teams pivot. I know in Collegiate, it wasn't as dominant of a force yet. We still were seeing a lot of the Ramatra, and we saw a lot of the Doom even a little bit here and there. 
I wonder, though, if Orissa starts creeping back in today. That is mm -hmm. something I've been hearing a little bit in the scrim box here and there. I can't tell if I, I buy them quite yet, but we'll see yeah. if Maris or Kane decide to bring it out. Especially when you're looking at these two teams, right, who had found success within these more brawl style compositions. Of course, Kane coming into today at a four and one record set to lock themselves in to that first seed if they're able to beat Morris out in today's match. But Morris, on the other hand, are currently at two and three, wanting to tie up that record of their own. Have had a difficult season moving on through, and having Kane being the final opponent. I mean, Twin Salty, that's a difficult one to look down at. It's a very difficult task. I think the only thing that would be more scary is if it was Fisher. Ah, uh, because <laughs> Fisher is Fisher. Uh, yeah. we, we love all of them, though. They're great. Um, but I would be petrified if I was playing a Fisher team, especially right now. They seem to be going on all cylinders as of late. Oh, yeah. But I think for Marist, no matter what you take this as, hey, it's a clean slate for everybody right now. Like, it, nobody really knows where this meta is going to land post-patch. It's the mm -hmm. final game of the regular season. There's no need to like, oh, we need to hide certain strats for later in the season or anything like that. This mm -hmm. like this is it. You just need to show everything you have right here, right now, and it's at least a very easy starting point for them here, as I will be the ever so popular Li Zhang Tower. <sighs> ever so popular. Do we see anything else other than Li Zhang Tower ever these days, Twin Salty? Like it feels like we're here every every single game. It's, it's like our, our second home at this point. Like <laughs> summer vacation. Yeah. King's Row is the home. Here. And then it's, yes. then it's Li Zhang Tower. You know. And then maybe Circuit Royale for a little, like, spring yeah, yeah, break yeah, yeah, visit. Yeah. That seems to be, like, the little <laughs> the vibe as of late. But honestly, like, we can at least see a lot of the rush here. Maybe we see some Sim, even though Sim even got changed up a little bit in the most recent patch. Mm -hmm. uh, but no matter what, Sim's always going to be lurking. But instead, we actually see the Zarya that right. we've seen a little bit over in OWCS EMEA. And, uh... Is that bait or is that that is real? Okay. No. What? Wow. Was this on your docket today? Nope. <laughs> yeah, I got just yeah, yep. Yeah, that, that that's the appropriate reaction. A wrecking ball making appearance has been coined one of the worst heroes you can play in Overwatch, at least in that tank department. Now coming out. I mean, already it's off to a wonderful start. The pile drive comes up with that disruptor shot. We get the main support out of the cards. Maris refusing to persist on fours has the objective under lock. A lot more frontline presence having a Zarya. You're just kind of lasering down players such as Waffle Iron. In this exact instance, Kane need to clean up quickly because DGTX is taking care of the entire backline right now. Maris, despite going down early, are going to stabilize behind their tank. Wow, what a what a play there for Maris. And they'll have to even get a little bit of a stagger as GGDX just stays alive. They're able to get both supports in the back line and they just play the slow game. This Kane composition, they need to play very fast. Mm -hmm. And when they can't isolate those targets early, they have to kind of retreat like Leo just did there. Like they did manage to isolate Brom King, but it wasn't enough yeah. to find another timing onto a single player. So Maris have been able to just stand on their feet. There's no sweat at all. And the Liliona is running for their life. And GG Dax sitting here on full charge. You need something to go right. And that is a bone's head rolling across the night market. Agu and Kane striking back in minefield to clear the rest of the players away. As soon as that tank goes down, Maris struggling to regroup. I feel bad for Comrade. He's like, That's do I touch? Do I not? Uh, it's like, no, I, I guess I'm not. <laughs> um, and the big thing there as well, the coalescence getting canceled from Rom King. They try and pop it as soon as the mines go down to try and clear. And uh, yeah, they get shot right away. So yeah. the big ult there turned out to be not so much, but they do have the grab to work with and the sound barrier as well if they need that little bit of extra assistance. And even that, you're going to have the Graviton Surge go out, the Kitsune even, so that's both support ults and all of Kane are still on their feet. But typically the later sound barrier is the one that comes out on top. Both teams still standing pretty strong, I say that, until Agu puts Bear into a splatter somewhere amongst the walls of Night Market, and it's Kane on a quick cleanup for Fight 3. Nice little clean up there in Beans as well. Yeah. Putting out the Kitsune Rush. Even though it wasn't as much damage as she was probably thinking it could have been. It honestly just helped keep everyone alive when they were trying to survive through that grav. Marist will stick with the Zarya for now. As Comrade, this Reaper's in a weird spot. Because typically yeah. it would be to help the front line. But Leo's not really sticking around long enough for Comrade to really be able to do a whole lot in that department. 
Kane doesn't really have a front line, and that's where no. players like B Combat come in. That's probably the closest to the front line you're going to get. All right, comrade. At least putting the majority of the damage into that elimination. Kane, yes, they're still in control of the objective, and they're choosing to ignore it. Getting Rom King out of the fight, one of the most valuable picks you could grab out of Mar this, other than the tank themselves. Another minefield goes through, a bone explodes, walking straight into the orb of destruction. GD Dak just off the point. They're gonna try to go for a reset here, but it's such a risky play, especially with the late stagger. Yeah, that's a very risky play. They'll try and get those staggers. Oh, they gotta live. As Rom King will actually be able to get out. Ooh. But now the question is, who is the touch? It seems like it was gonna be a uh -oh. bone, but no, they will get a touch. They're gonna go in. Doomfist is not out, but another stick. The goo is running an absolute muck here in round number one. Kane leading on their tracer player, and Morris have been struggling to keep up another one of the kill feed for a goo just to go ahead and round it up. There's only so much a single Doomfist can accomplish when your entire teammate is down. You have no friends to back you up in this one, buddy. Kane have been looking strong ever since they got a grip onto the objective. They're not going to let it go. It is a nice pulse bomb from Bone to close it on out. And Kane walking away, 135. I can't believe this ball comp is working right now. I don't anything, want it to work. It, it, I can't <laughs> believe it right now. But they're honestly playing it really well. Leo Leon just kept weaving in and out. They were never really sticking around for too long, which is exactly what you need to do on the Wrecking Ball. And Becomics and Agu were always there, whether it be Agu yep. trying to push forward, trying to find them in the back, Becomics playing the range game. Even though, yes, occasionally Becomics got hunted down because, like you said, they did kind of become the front line in a weird way. Yeah. But I do think it is even going to be better here on Garden because there is so much more boop ability right on the outside of the point, just like it was over there in downtown. And Maris will just go to the full dive themselves and try and more maybe counter dive. Wolf Iron and Beans, who didn't really have much pressure at all that round. Okay, oh, well. goodbye, a bone. <laughs> yeah, you're a pancake, beans, an expert with the kunai. And uh, something I didn't mention earlier, Twin Salty, I don't know how much potential you play to calling on heroes, but there's this team, Kunuichi. They made this Wrecking Ball composition with the Lucia, yeah. the Mercy, the Farah. That's what Kane has been doing all season long. It's worked out for them so well, and they haven't even opted to switch it, even with different patches going through. No, it's been great to see a comp, especially from Calling Out Heroes, kind of find its little growth here in Collegiate now. Yeah. Because right? it's not the most... As, as interesting you know, as it is. It's not the most standard composition, <laughs> uh, to say it that way. But they've been managing to make it work. There you go. Cleanse wow. is already taken out, Ooh. but a goo is punished. Yeah, but don't argue that trade for Bear is significantly more valuable in the long run. I mean, Kane, you're going to get Leone out there, no problem. The Hamster, an escape artist, essentially, and... Maris, they're going to start some contention on the objective, but and they haven't been able to nail anyone down. Ideally, you have to get this pick onto B-Comics, but all the healing is coming in. You lose Rom King in the process, so all of this throwing through sustain is low. Kane is able to regroup. They have an even amount of players to continue contesting this objective. Both round for Liliana, I didn't even notice. It's like being stung by a mosquito with that much over health on your side. Finally, Mars are going to find something in the kill feed, but you're only going to be diving straight down into a minefield. Rom King just had to fall to their death into the explosions. Bear not faring too well themselves either as Kane are going to manage to survive throughout all the chaos. They're able to find both supports and yeah, point never flips over during that time frame as well and poor Rom King tries to swift step in to try and oh, help their no. Doomfist <laughs> and uh, yeah, it went right into the mines and it's like, well, that's, uh, that's a little unfortunate. And they don't have a lot to work with quite yet. They're getting close to their support ults, close to their DPS ults, but you don't have a lot of time to really work with. No. Mars need to make a move now, and not a ton of time to do so. Thankfully, Aku's Pulse Bomb goes wide, at least if you're a fan of the Foxes. And you're going to be an even bigger one. It's like a Tsune Wash from Wrong King on board. DPS down on either side. You can I have a lot of these tools to use in the later part of this fight, should they opt to do so, but they've waited so long to actually initiate. It's only the death of a goo. Well, they'll start pumping in these ultimates, and it seems to be too little, too late. Mars are slowly starting to get a grip onto this objective. Only Leo Leone fighting back and forth. The overclock on their side because I think this is winnable, and all of the shots are going blind, even hitting one into themselves. But for final, oh, Maris well. gained some progress. Ah, uh, poor goo. That's, That's uh... unfortunate. That's unfortunate, but hey, Mary's Cap, 
They get, uh, and they don't have to use Blade for it. They're almost at another Meteor Strike, almost at another Pulse Bomb. It could be worse here for the Red Foxes. I'll say it that way. It could be way worse, but they still have the glaring issue of what do you do with Leo Leon? Like, that is the big question <laughs> because Rob King, you can see right here, already have health. have to play for their life every single time. And they're just, like, letting him deal with it, too. I mean, you have to enforce some of these grosses onto the front lines, and you get the trade. Oh, poor Rom King is just taking a beating from the little hamster, Leone, an absolute menace on this character. Bono has been stepping it up here on our second round. Guard is, yeah, the pulse is gonna land. It's just Mars starting to stabilize in a situation that started to look really dicey. It's not completely gone yet, but I think no. it's winnable here if they can try and find a kill quickly. Oh, but Ron yeah, Waffle King. Iron's gonna shut the door on that pretty fast. Yeah, poor Ron. Ron King's just not having a good time. <laughs> Simple as that. Kane have their number. Have realistically been that main target, and once that Kiriko goes down, there's little sustain. The rest of uh, the players are just like toppling over dominoes essentially. Waffle Iron has his third final blow of this fight alone. Staggerski coming in, Night Market notorious for it, especially with how fast each of these individual characters are. I think a minefield for Kane can start to slow down some of this craziness, but the main point of it has been a bone staying alive as long as they have as Rob King dies for the third time in this engagement. And now all of a sudden, the kills oh start no. swinging back. Oh and no. uh, There we go. Right when Maris thought they maybe actually won the fight, <laughs> oh. uh, Kane's like, no, no, no. This is this is our map. No, 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 no. And they will be able to get to a 1-0 series lead. Wow. Uh, just, just wow. That, that, that's Wrecking Ball for <laughs> Yeah. Oh my goodness, Kane. They have not swapped up their strategy from the first week of this season. I mean, this is why they're looking clean to lock in that very first seed. And it's the chaos. Nobody knows how to came. And no one knows to do what this very gentleman right here, Leo Leon, the hamster, striking fear into Marist. I still can't get over it. I, I, I know I should have, like, <laughs> Just don't I shock. knew this was a possibility going oh. into tonight, especially with Kane being, you know, Kane. But I'm like, are they actually going to run this right now when, especially like Doomfist is pretty decent right now yeah. in the dive. Same thing with D.Va. Doom's getting a lot of play over in Korea. But I'm like, I respect it. Hey, stick to your guns. Exactly. Uh, and they're doing great so far. And now puts Maris in a weird spot to where they probably don't typically try and counterpick maps mm -hmm. for a ball comp. And so it's like, what yeah. do you even do here? That's a tough part. Is Marist, you can try to counter pick it, but I even don't. with the maps that are in the pool, like, are you going to try to force them on more of a brawl type? I mean, is, that's not like Kane are unfamiliar with brawl. Their mantra comps are very strong. It's just a matter of do you think you're going to fare better against that than you will the hamster? Like, how often do you have to, do you find yourselves in a situation like this one? Like, what is going through the coach's head right now? That's what I want to know. Reset button. That, that is all you have to say if you're the coach. Yep. Reset. That map does not it's exist. Gone. Like, Did just don't happen. even pretend that it existed because yeah, that was a weird one. That was, that was a weird one if you're Maris. I didn't mind the Zarya comp being pulled out, at least initially. Not, obviously not mm. knowing what Kane was running. Because that honestly has been building up some steam. And on a map like King's Row, which, you know, we're going back home, <sighs> I guess. From our summer home to back home in the uh, UK. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it could work. Right? It could work. Yeah. And I would almost, like, love to see a Junkrat be played. Can't believe I'm you saying that You did not just say that. No, But we Jesse, saw no. some. We saw some. But that's The Kaya. other day in OWC. I know that's Kaya. I, I know that's a little bit of a different scenario. But, hey, even if you just put the trap behind you, whether it be to try and catch the Tracer or the ball running through, you at least know that somebody is back there. Even if they try and break it, you can at least maybe anticipate the dive a tiny bit more. But it's a... Uh, it's a call. I guess you could do the Torb as well. Torb's probably the more <laughs> smart pick here, but the Junkrat entertainment value-wise, maybe, you know, a little bit. Playing for the entertainment? Screw winning. We're playing for the entertainment value We're right now. We're playing for, yeah, all the scrim bucks. All of them. <laughs> scrim bucks in an official match. That's what we're talking about. Oh, boy. Uh, this, this is going to be a match of all time. I can <laughs> tell you that right now. And do you, How practical even is the Hammond in a lot of these points? Like, perhaps on first attack, but the streets phase and even third point, that seems far from ideal in many of these situations. So a swap is going to be likely. Yeah, they're what? at least teasing the Winston, which that is way better on this map, theoretically. 
Uh, Maris will actually go the Sigma, like the poke okay. comp, which I like this actually. So I really like this from the Red Foxes. But I think they're anticipating the Wrecking Ball with both the Sombra and the Cassidy. Like, seeing the Romatra come out, that's going to be in for a nasty surprise. Comrade already in a heap of trouble. The poop on through, thankfully, able to narrowly translate Gates to the rest of their team. And Paris is thrown on out. This is a very success immediately, or you're going to fall over and it's not going to even look like you were there in the first place. Like, this comp has so many big weaknesses, and the first one is that Sombra getting caught out. Waffle Iron been hunting for these DPS players, and Paris, they're in a dangerous spot. Look how low GG Dax is. Bear is under pressure to rotate through the entire objective. Yeah, you're not living with those good old grandma legs. Quick, quick cap from Kane. Quick cap from Kane, and they're like, oh, Bear, you're trying to counter pick us? Una reverse. No, we're gonna, we're gonna counter pick what you think we're bringing out, and they're gonna go back over now to the Zarya, which this is, yeah, probably what they wanted to run initially on this map anyway. I don't think they're gonna complain, but man, poor Rom King. Like, save my boy Rom King. They are getting bullied this entire series so far. They will go over to the Genji as well. No reason to stay on the Sombra with what Kane are running. This, I think, gives the Red Foxes at least a chance. Yes, you're gonna be at alt disadvantage. Pulse is already online. Oh no. But compositionally, at least gives you a chance. It much better. Uh, you have yeah. sample ground to stand on. That's a plus. Oh. But are you ready for an explosive device or just a goo in general? The fade forced out from King narrowly escaping with his life. He's like, guys, just let me play the dang video game. Kane not letting him have a chance. But this time, it's Lilione that's actually blown to smithereens. The attempt to save him has gone far beyond. And Harris appears that they're actually going to get some form of defense going here on the streets phase. And they find a goo in the back line. Eventually, Rom King gets their revenge. Woo! Ah, uh, the DPS that's been terrorizing them this series. The window, I don't mind the placement of it. It's like, yeah, you want to try and get Cart past that choke point because it can be a little awkward. But it just didn't end up actually getting anything in a bone. With this magnetic grenade? Oh, what this the? is ballsy. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, that's one way to put it. I mean, the bubble certainly helped. The speed app. Yeah, are you ready for Kane's return? Use all of your resources to go in. You come out with nothing. Kane's like, all right, it is our turn. But a bing, a bada boom, and a boom goes up. Maris with Annihilation. Cherry on top could have held on to that, arguably. But if you get the team like nonetheless, Kane, they're forcing this objective. I wonder if they were popping that. I need the extra armor health. Like the reset yeah. on the armor was maybe the thought there from Leo. Uh, I don't mind it. Do they need it? No. They, they, no. they probably didn't in the grand scheme of things, but... They still have Overclock to use from McCummix, who is really winning the range game over a bone, and Comrade has not been able to really challenge that so far. Not really. It's not really gonna matter here. Comrade's gonna wanna play close anyways. The Dragonfly pulled out. Wonderful Mortality Field keeps the comics up a lot longer than it arguably should have, but it doesn't stop Maris from breaking down Kane's previous progress and continuing their hold here on this street part. They could stabilize here, I think, for the yeah. Red Foxes. There's a there is a decent chance. They think somebody is behind. Who's still back there? Is somebody behind? Is there? Oh yeah, they, I got oh, Kuba. There he is. <laughs> I wonder if they were trying to force the C9 or the back cap, and Kane was like, "We in that Kane." Mary's like, "We know you're back here. You're not, you're not smart. You, you're not, you know, <laughs> not gonna be able to hide back here during the entirety." So they at least get that pick off. But now Kane gets the advantage. They have that window to work off of, and especially if Becomex is able to find an opening pick from it. Especially on a bear, it could spell trouble here for the Red Foxes. Yeah, but they're gonna move in aggressively okay. instead with the sound barrier. I like this. Taking initiative and you get a goo. All right, you took the play. You're reaping the reward. Why not push forwards a little bit more, Maris? Gonna continue to clean up the rest of Kane and they're gonna try to go to the spawns. All right. Me? I wonder if they were trying to hunt Becomix. They were very low, but yeah, no, they're gonna try yeah, and back okay, up okay. now. Not gonna, not gonna run the risk. Is they don't want to commit video, yeah. heavy to Archway, because it does leave you open for a back cap, maybe a little, a little too much. Yeah, well, they're going in with this play round two. Eh, maybe not gonna hit, but oh, Beans, she's in a heap of trouble. Can she manage to get out? Yes, she's gonna get the trade bare minimum. Kane, though, being down their main support, certainly in more trouble. So Maris, you're okay to play without your DPS. You're gonna have the Graviton storage online, and the hold continues. They've been rotating their ults very nicely yeah. so far during this. Like, even there, yes, it's, it's a very weird set play. And it, if anything, <laughs> it's just trying to force the immortality field down. And, it, hey, if you get something, you get something. 
Um, but no, it's actually been working out really well, and now they have the koa uh -oh. and the grab. Well, <gasps> no longer. Why'd you have to say something? Why did you have to say something? GG uh, Jax just wanted to use the Graviton Surge, and suddenly you go from 500 HP to zero gain in the March on fours, and that's really unfortunate too. Paris, as you said, have done an incredible job rotating those ultimates, and unfortunately, they didn't even have the opportunity to blink before they were blown to smithereens. No, they didn't even get to use any of it. This point will be capped, and you know, I, you know this, Tiny. Like, I'm known for my curses. Uh, that was not one of my normal ones. Like, that's, that is not, uh, yeah. That's not the normal three Overwatch curse that I see, so I'm sorry. Uh, hey, you might have helped the three Overwatch come true. At least the Graviton Surge is going to hit its mark this time around, and Rom King getting beams. Very valuable pick, and it is an ultimate slug fest out on the field. I believe that's one, two, three, four, five, six that have been committed in total. There's still Morris at the end of the day standing on top of the cart. Waffle Iron trying to 1v3, but yeah, not happening this time. Not nah, happening. A seventh got thrown in there at the end. A goo through Pulse Bomb. A goo. And it uh, did not get anything. I believe GGG Axe had their bubble to, to get out of it. But hey, at that point, wait, was a 2v3. It's a winnable fight. I don't see it as a horrible idea for Kane, and they still, yeah. for Maris, you hold on the sound barrier. That's big. That's very right. big. And then I have this, like, rushing dead eye fight. We need to think of a good name for that. The quick cowboy? Ow. Oh. Well, we'll, we'll have to get to the brainstorm. Because surely they're going to do the same thing again. That's the bubble. That's the spin, and it's going to get Peacock. Third time's the charm, apparently, for a bow. Topping it off with a second. Oh, I love that play from Maris. Maris. Any quick noon? Quick noon? Quick noon? Uh, it's we'll workshop it. Chat, let yeah, us yeah, know yeah. if you got any ideas got for any it. Ideas. Leave it in chat. Um, <laughs> but I, I, they again hold on to beat. They have blade to work with again. And as soon as I said uh, comrades had a little bit of an issue, they matched doing well. Uh oh, on the Genji, well. Just you just you just gotta stop saying nice things about Maris. You really <laughs> do. Like, every time it happens, it's beans with her at Matrix, an absolute menace on the Baptiste if you're not familiar with her, and it just slams Mars back down into the ground. Even in overtime stall. Eh, is it looking too possible? Comrades here with a dragon blade as the beat to go with it. Good old beat saber combo as we like to call it. Slice and then dice and yet it's all over health and shielding. It gets essentially nothing and done. Just Wadi with a wet noodle. And Comrade falls at the end of the day. You just sit on the payload with an annihilation. He's blocking forms. Leo Leone isn't going anywhere whatsoever. When Kane just has to hold on the cart, Marcus has to walk into them. It's Graviton Sir GGDX, the last hope for Maris to make a comeback here and now. And it seems to do the job. Kane, they have to close this one out quickly. Now with the annihilation expiring, going the full 20 seconds, mind you. They're going to have to try to stall it out. There's no way that Maris pushed this to at least in overtime. Even if they don't stall the court, the final touch that they managed to get has been absolutely incredible to push them on through. It appears Kane's are slightly favored at the end of the day. There's minimal win conditions left online and everything in favor of that attack Side. Eventually, a Gooby comic picking up the trenches, pulling the payload forward, that final meter for a full cap. Ooh, that got close. That Whoa. got close to Maris actually being able to hold on to that. They got three from the grab, and all of a sudden, it is just Waffle Iron and Leo, I believe, who were left standing. Like you said, Annihilation went the full 20, yep. and they're like, all right, still standing, still just kind of hanging about. And they are eventually able to get the cap after McComics came back into the fight. With that, uh, with the ult, we're like, all right, let's let's get this done. Let, let's finish this. But it is big. No time left yep. on the clock. And honestly, you know the way this series, like, you look at that first point, you look at the time make now. It's not horrible here for Maris. It's a workable situation. Ab absolutely, absolutely. I mean, the way it started, and you were looking about, I think it was five or six minutes, or well, almost five minutes, right? At when you're finish that first point that that Morris got that down to nothing is pretty dang impressive and you do have to hand it to him that ultimate management has been superb without that and the reason that last overtime stall was as close as it was was because of these decisions that they made to hold on to their tools and you know what the most important thing is to insulty rom king lived that? throughout an entire they fight lived. impossible they got the coalescence off they were using it at the end did they eventually die yes um <laughs> <laughs> but they are, I think, starting to feel themselves in the series at least a little bit. And I don't mind this look here from Barris. Is it a little bit of a... 
A risky one, yes. JQ is very hit or miss right now. But I don't mind it because there is no May on the other side. There's no real counter. There's no Ana as well. It could work. Maris will take good. Any day of the week. Yep. We're going to go for this high ground rotation. Trying pressure to be comics. That's a nice oh, stick. Night. Actually, onto the soldier. The boop, though, from Waffle Iron and the speed boost to get their DPS out of danger. Even better. Now, DG Zax is going to be pummeled down into the ground. That was an early drop that none of the Foxes were prepared to follow up on. Kane, easy collapse on the ball. Uh, it looked so good for a it second did. for Maris. But Kane was like, eh, it's you overextended maybe, maybe a tad. Um, because I honestly didn't mind the play. Like, all right, let's drop. Let's try and get someone in the back line. It was just the rest of Marist were not on the same page, like you said. They did not realize that. Hey, we're, no, we're dropping right now. Three, two, one. There was no three, two, one. It was one go. Like <laughs> it was very quick from GGDX, but uh, the knife accuracy is there. The comics will have to be a little bit more safe about where they're holding, and a goo is already uh, lurking. Gonna be a little sneaky with it. Just to kind of surface behind them. That's a Suzu out incredibly early. And here we go. Slightly farther oh. behind, but uh oh. Goodbye, Agu. Let us a 180 flick from like three players instantly around. And like, ah, not this time. Agu has been a problem in their back line. Finally, dealing with it, finding the answer. And Mars, they're in control of this fight. They want to make that push on forwards. And GG Dax is doing their best to break through. Get a Romatra with the amount of health that he has. It's difficult actually find that opening even with the sound barrier now waffle iron second light oh is in to kane and it's not doing much at all a bone and comrade doge are working together as a tag team duo tearing apart kane one by one and eventually securing maris this cap and no ults used as well for maris yeah. that is massive going into streets phase they don't have as much time as kane did obviously i think they have about a little over a minute less than what the cougars did during their attack, but honestly, you use no ult. Cell barrier is gone. It's a great start here for Maris if you want to try to make something out of it. There you go. Beans. Oh, oh, yeah. Bye bye, Beans. That, that's unfortunate. Pull lessons immediately uh -oh. canceled out. The pulse bomb, though. Okay, that's a kablooey for GT. Jackson. Yeah. Mars, they're still going to put the overclock into this. Okay, I'm not too sure. Uh, oh, uh, what? 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 Okay, and what? Like, I'm not even going to try to comprehend a thought process, I guess. Marist are closer to coming back, so you want to try to keep Kane from pushing up into the rest of your team? That's what we're going to talk it up to, but b Comets gets too cocky. Abo just rips his head off, and now Mar is very much back in this battle. You still have three ultimates, nothing to stop the Rampage, at least in terms of a Suzu. It gets the tank, you have the Dragon Blade. This was dicey, to say the least. Salty. I, no words. I, I don't... That was a series of unfortunate <laughs> events for Kane. And it's like, oh, you know, they're going to push us. They're going to push us. They pop uh, Annihilation and all of a sudden Maris is like, no, we're good. We're good. We're, we're just going to we're gonna chill. Backside library. And they're like, oh, okay. And then I was like, oh, now we're going to go. Rampage, go, go in. And that was, yeah, disaster Ooh. if you are a Kane. It's one thing after another, just everything went wrong. Well, they want things to go right for this fight, but it's already gone. You are the wrong direction, losing Waffle Iron. Comics on the high ground, overclock in hand. I mean, that's going to be the tool that Kane used to stop the push on to this point. And the shot's not landing in the way that they were hoping to do so. Losing Lilione and B Comics again, falling to a bone. Brutal pickoffs. Paris are beginning their run back here in King's Row, just looking to cap off this final ejection. You have to give it to a bone for the amount of work that they've been pumping in. Oh, they've been a difference maker here on this attack. It's the main reason why they are. Four minutes, basically, going Sheesh. into this final phase. And they have forced Kane now to make those composition swaps. It's not Maris who we're having to change. Uh, Rob King, uh, 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 you've been doing great, buddy. Let's not let's not change the fates of how this attack has gone. <laughs> uh oh, Goose looking for the pulse. Oh. oh, ooh, it's onto a bone. I'm like, Bar Rob King's like, hey, I get to live, but your soldier does. That, that's a bit of an issue. Kane, though. They gotta find some way to stabilize. Absolutely steamroll in that street phase. Their ultimate economy is in a rough state to say the least. I mean, it's really up to them the direction that this battle takes. And it'll be the first out, the rampage sound barrier down, keeping everyone on their feet and paying the key. That was Barris sound barrier. So as soon as Leone gets that purple of their own, they can decide to go out and strike. But no, it's canceled midway through. A bone is cleaning up the rest of the squad, and it's all falling apart for Kane, who started the series so dominantly.
It is all falling apart. A bone is him right now, getting all these kills. Everybody's coming out left door. That is where Maris is set up. Get soon and rush just to try and counter. You got the blade though inside of that. What chance did Kane stand against Comrade when he's swinging at twice the speed? A triple kill for the Genji, and that's a cherry on top. Two thirty nine, and worst case scenario for Maris is a draw. Uh, hey, I will say this. Potential for the, the curse we were talking about earlier is no, uh, quite, no. quite low. Quite low. I'm not Actually, gonna, wait, yeah, that's true. That's true. Not going to say it's gone yet because a draw is possible. And, if, you know, if we go six <laughs> maps tonight, that, uh, yeah, yeah, that's a yeah. whole different kind of uh, producer curse. Um, <laughs> um A certain Leighton. Um, but, no, this <laughs> that was a great push there from Maris. This, all the changes that we were kind of hoping they would make, they did. Change up to a new comp, make Kane try and actually counter you instead of the other way around. And a bone finally felt like they were really settling into this series. They were able to line up the shots, but Comics was not ruling the long range game as they have been throughout the majority of this series. And funny enough, it is now Kane actually who is going over to the Zarya. Okay, okay. Uh, look at how the tables have turned, especially in this game. And a lot of that has to do with a bone absolutely popping off, number one. But also, number two, Kane, any time they attempted to plan a fight out in terms of ultimate, it, it just got flipped upside down. Maris have been above them when it's come to that economy and managing it for those planned out fights. And it's going to be a tall task to defend for a full two and a half minutes. It's going to be very difficult. If Waffle Iron can stay alive here on this back high ground, they're playing a different angle than what Maris did initially. I believe it was a little bit closer into the point where Maris played on their defense. So it's at least you can move around a little bit more and then play more backside hotel and, you know, send nades like that onto GGDX. Find some way to get this started. I mean, Waffle Iron being on the Ana essentially has a giant target on his back. We have three players completely inting onto the Grandma. She doesn't stand a chance. And oh, Kane right now. This is a big problem. All it takes is one shot from a bone, cleaning up another. Leo Leone is off at the back line. Kind of gave a ring around the Rosie, around the statue, and that's going to be a swift cap from Maris. Oh boy, Jesse, do we have ourselves a series? We got ourselves a series, Tiny Marist. Woo! They're not done. They are not done quite yet. 1-1 one, one after two. And Comrade, they were... I admit, they were getting there. They were getting there in this yeah. series. The first half was a little rough. But at the end here, this was a gorgeous play. Nice little one. You hit a two. You hit a three. And able to help with the cleanup as well shortly after. That was the kind of map we needed to see from Marist. Like, we were wondering going in after Liget... It was a little ugly. You know, the ball comp obviously yeah. threw them off a little bit. But they go to a map or ball not going to work really much at all. And it settled into the comp that they wanted to play initially before they even mm -hmm. saw that the ball existed. So they're like, oh, you're not running ball or any sort of dive? Okay, we'll just do what we've been wanting to do this entire series and got on a map win. It's actually, you know... Rum King lived. <laughs> That's also a big part of it is Kane weren't able to find the same level of synergy and be able to, to kind of work through an even brawl comp. Now that there's actually a front line to fight with, Morris knew exactly how to handle that yeah. situation and could just fight them head on how they wanted as you were talking about. And it is going to show us too. It answers the question we asked earlier of is counterpicking for a Wrecking Ball comp going to throw this team off kilter? And Jesse, it certainly will. And we're going to have to keep an eye on that as the series continues to progress. But before we get there, we are going to head to a short break. Before we continue, so don't go anywhere. We'll be back with some more Collegiate Overwatch.
And welcome back to the banger of a series that we have here for the final week of ECAC Overwatch. Maris brought it back from the brink. Actually, pretty much steamrolled their way through the attack on King's Row, tying up their series against Kane, the team of Chaos. And now they're going to be the ones picking our third map. And now, Twin Salty, we have an idea of what that map is, but absolutely zero idea where the series is going to go from here. Yeah, it's not a map that we've seen a whole lot of as of late. We're going over to Route 66. Yeah. Which uh, almost was like a taboo map in Collegiate for a while. It's like, <laughs> we're just going to push that away. Like, nobody really yeah. wants to play. Like, a lot of people are playing Watchpoint, or they want to play Circuit, or, you know, we've seen Dorado, Rialto. We've seen all these different maps. Not Route 66 for a very long time. I wonder why part of me for this screams hey they're trying to run dive again they're trying to run whether it be ball or some sort of that maybe even with like a pharmacy look like you were saying earlier yeah. we might get that full on look instead of it kind of being without the pharmacy uh because yeah. we also did have a sub come in yes and for the Lucio players, so Bear yeah. for Kane will be taking a back seat. We'll have Caesar Salad come in, which is interesting, Twin Salty, because Lucio is an integral part of pretty much any sort of these rush brawl compositions, and even in dive in some assets. But you have to assume that, all right, if you're not going to have the speed from the Lucio, you are going some sort of other composition that is already fast enough on its own where you don't require that particular character. To me, it either screams pharmacy or they're running like Brig Ana, to where all right, yeah. they're fully committing to the dive. They want to make sure they have a Brig to protect the Ana because we saw last map when both teams tried to run Ana. Uh, spoiler alert: did not work very well. No, nope. they got ran over both times. So you wonder if that's maybe also the direction they're going. I'm not sure which side of that island they're gonna land on, or maybe Caesar Salads. You know, still just gonna play Lucio, and it's gonna be you know continuing to question us. What we're gonna see? Oh, I uh, I know I said wait. okay. They they just swapped. Wait. I was oh, wait, about wait, wait, to say, but it's the Alari for Kane right now. I'm not even gonna talk about what Maris is running until well, yeah. this round starts. Good idea. Uh, but the Babalari on this map, I actually I don't mind it here from the Cougars. I'll find my own path. Honestly, no. That's a ton of additional damage, and Ilari a much more consistent threat at range than it would be a Zenyatta. With the ha I think the Hanzo is really the only odd thing that you would see. You don't see a ton of yeah. Hanzo these days, and he's essentially just chucking three trunks down main. That's kind of nice, but uh, who are you going to try to hit? Morris are sticking with this Doomfist sort of dive, and you're down. Kane's Genji so far. This bunker not working out. There's not much hope to really be put behind this, at least from uh, the, the Genji's perspective. And it seems that Mars can care less about that setup. They've essentially just removed them from the face of the gas station. Yeah, they just got moved all the way over to the other high ground, but it will be yeah. Kane uh, falling because of that fact. Maris is picking him up one by one, but Rob King does die during this. I mean, the, the guy just wants to live in what? That was like wow. four kills in half a second. My gosh, Kane. Well, that's how you bring a fight back, I, okay, I guess. Okay, that like, that's works. not Ow. how I thought this would work, and I agree <laughs> with you. This Hanzo pick is... It's definitely a choice because he's kind of fallen away ever since, the, you know, the headshot reduction got taken and obviously all the health changes too. He's not, you know, a one ding uh, guy anymore, right? Like he's not always going to hit those one shot headshots and well, become ex well, uh, they're going to have to wait a little bit. I can feel a bit of deja vu here. Why, Just a little are, are bit. We now? Yeah. I mean, the pylon is down. So that's a nice pick, but oh, Rob King, it's the same thing happening again. What is this game? I refuse to believe that this is reality. I mean, Agu is still managing to trade this out regardless of the fact that their entire team is dead. Finally put down themselves. So an embarrassed looking to get a full cap. It would not be wise for King to contest this. No, there's no real reason for them to try and get forward. And but Cummings may learn the exact reason why soon Run. as they're actually <laughs> able to get out, but it will be the point being capped by Maris, not having to really use anything. Neither team electing to use anything quite yet. No, and to be fair, they haven't really had a big opportunity to do so. And no. I mean, if you're Jamaris, you're going to be the ones to initiate. I'd like to see a cap to some, though. 
from beans. This is a lot of potential to just do amazing things. Put out the Gravitic Flux. Oh, Chef's Kiss. Absolutely beautiful. But I'll actually the Nano Blade. Coming out of the pocket first. Instant end to a goo and waffle iron. It was essentially waiting game, but the Gravitic Flux got slept. Canceling the drone. Oh my gosh. Two ultimates canceled just from a single combo of a Nano Blade. Ew. What could go wrong? Can I don't think go that could have gotten worse. I don't know if it could have, uh, unless they <laughs> unless they like tried to use the captive sun or something during could've that, and then that got canceled. But you know that was quite a nice execution there from Baron. <laughs> like, I don't know. We're gonna go right on in, and it will force a swap as well from Kane. Leo will go oh. over to the Diva, which is a bit awkward with the Alari Bap. And now the Diva is all all lonely, Man, sleeping on the objective. I mean, uh, it's just GG Dax turning everybody on Kane into a punching bag. Meteor Strike on down, Beans goes bye-bye, and Kane are oh, struggling to find uh, any form of stability. Uh, Mitch, I really hope that's a swap from my phone. I, I gotta think that's a swap. Um, the but no matter what, Maris will cap as... Oh, poor Leo, and they're gonna get staggered out <laughs> so long. This game? As, oh, man, <laughs> this is... This is torture. You could use this as a prison sentence. This is... This is quite rough for Leo. Yeah, this card just continues to move on. Uh, <laughs> Waffle Iron just... did swap. Oh, okay. And, eh, oh my, they got Wait, wait. Just got the what? back. But Lily Oni can just fly right at. What? what? Why Why did we let the people live? Why did we let the deep? Mm. Okay. All right. That'll be a better view. That. <laughs> This is certainly one of those games to look back upon. Beats, though, wants to add some sort of stability to Kane's gameplay. Captain Sun unleashed. And Morris will be forced to back off as none other than Rob King is dead again. Yeah, and a bone gets taken out as well. So, some stabilization now for Kane. Okay. If they can hold on to this corner. I don't think the Lucio Alari is awkward here with the D.Va, especially at this choke. Yeah. It's a little more enclosed anyway. I think it's a workable situation. Maybe not ideal. But it's not a total disaster as if they were running, like, Lucio Zen or something. It could be a lot worse. I mean, the pylon gets more value in this indoor space as long as it yeah. stays alive. Which is challenging when you have a lot of these dive characters who are going to be behind you. You are angles to work with. But at least this time, Magu does get an ultimate off before blowing up into a pit. Okay, goodbye to you. That's a full run for B Comics with absolutely no problem. GG Dax taking that every single day of the week. CZ Salad opting to play frontline. Not recommended for an Ana player. Uh, the pale should move on regardless, though. These fights are scrappy, to say the very least. I don't know if it will move forward, at least at a decent pace, but Comics is able to get one. Self-Destruct finds GG DX. Uh, the tanks trade, and it'll kind of be a ceasefire by the point, as everybody just trying to figure out where everybody else went. As you talked about it, Agu, they're going to stick the Hanzo, which uh, uh, I wasn't right. sure if they were going to after all, but uh, I respect it, I guess. You can pulse bomb one too many times. Surely you want to switch, but all right, you're going with the dragon blade. No nano boost. They get Sune Rush instead to combo it on up, and Comrade able to work with that just fine. And he coupled down to their name. Kane finally forced back off of this choke, and are gonna have to rely heavily on a sound barrier to bring them back. Yeah, need to rely on that, and maybe a late pulse bomb here from a comics if they can try and land it onto somebody from the back line, especially Caesar Salad. If they can get it off before the nano. I mean, the Nano's already out, but Caesar Cell, that's a sleep dart that was eaten up for breakfast. And this is why you don't play the Ana, friends. As fun as she is, you are just essentially a free kick. Gray sort of dive team, but well, Morris, we're just letting your Ana take a beating. Kane, what happened to your back line? They just got taken care of themselves, and they're falling through. The pulse bomb doesn't hit much at all, and GG Dax is. Keeping this team on their feet. Mind you, you are playing into the spawns of Kane, so they'll be back a lot faster in these type of scenarios, especially when B Comics is able to stay alive. I spoke too soon. My apologies to you, Mr. B Comics. Is yeah, Mars are finally gonna roll this in seemingly. Yeah, okay, we got there eventually, and with a decent amount of time on the clock. Yeah, a decent amount of time on the clock for, and that's yeah. No, that, yeah. was, that was decent. It almost felt like they were using their Ana as bait, which I feel horrible <laughs> about. But hey, even if that they wasn't, were. even if it wasn't maybe the idea, I think, well, A, Rom King's probably happy. It's just not them that's being used as the I bait know, right? this time. <laughs> um, but Caesar Salad just getting served up in the back. Like, hey, you know, go look at the Ana. You know, we're going to kill your backline, but just go look at the Ana for a little bit. 
and it, it worked. If you know if that was the intention or not, I'm I'm guessing it's maybe not the intention, but hey, it's and it worked out in the end. They were end with over a minute yeah. left on the clock for Mariston. You know, this is a very different team than what we saw over Ali Zhang. They're way more confident, and they will try and go with a version of this poke, but. Wow, they will actually go with the Mercy Echo here. Okay, and if Leo right. sticks the ball, having that damage boost finishing beam may actually be pretty decent. Especially with, this is where Maris got beat last time. Like on Leon yeah. Tower, their entire problem was Leo Leon. And now with this damage boosted Echo, with how good a Bonesman kind of picking up this Cassidy, so like scaling as a player, and, and perhaps this is the answer to that initial problem that they face. And if Maris can beat Kane on their best composition, they might as well be walking away with the series. Yeah, they might as well at that point. It's like... Okay, I wonder how Kane will react to this, because as well, the Magnetic Grenade will stop any momentum that Leo has, whether it be Leo or Agu. But Comics, the somber nerf did come through to, not even yeah. the nerf, just the revert of the the absurd patch that came yeah. in for her. And she will be oh, no. working over here. Oh, oh no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh! All, right, all, right, all right, the sleep guard is in end. The kills, he's like, uh, uh, I might be a senior citizen, but my reflexes are incredibly fast. All right, you take those, but please protect senior cell. And they're going to need some assistance. If anybody else besides just B Comics uh, even looks in their general direction. Yeah, we don't need them just to become Caesar dressing on the floor. We need them to what? actually, like, That's stay great. together here in the back. And I actually don't mind this look here for Maris. Kane will have a real struggle of trying to get up on this high ground. Is, okay. Yeah, Bean's taken out early. I don't hate this at all from Maris. They're finding plenty of stability, and Lilione hasn't had a roll through. I essentially executed at the tail end of this fight. You do lose out on poor old Rom King here. Agu hasn't been dealt with yet, and he's gonna escape to the back lines. Uh oh, they're gonna spawn camp the mercy. Oh please, can we can we see if that's what's happening? It is. Oh, it's oh. <laughs> no, not Rom King, oh, please. Rob King. Oh, oh, and the, oh, and the Sombra too. too. Oh, oh my. Oh, oh, what a day to be a Mercy cruel. player. This and the Echo cruel. too. I mean, honestly, it's going to break them through the point as the support line gone. And, oh, they, they just didn't know what expected. Maris, they saw what? the Tracer walking to the way. Okay, you get one. Uh, but, yeah, no, no, you're done. You're done. If you don't use any of your ultimates, you're just going to go see GG. GG, you go next. I, is a bone. A bone's not switching. Okay. That uh, was, mm. Mm, that's a call. Uh, um, I don't like. I don't <laughs> think it's a bad idea to stay in the Cassidy. I'm just like that ult was something. Um, but yeah, man, poor, poor Rob King. But the die was excellent from McCummix and Agu. Everyone was oh. there, and McCummix oh. uh, oh. will not get out though. Oh, okay. Had the back to Caesar Salad, and uh, that is a mistake. They probably will not be making again though. Bone does fall. Direction is a potential. The nade, absolutely wonderful. Caesar Salad, despite all the struggles that they have faced oh. this game, but putting in work, uh, we, we, we didn't see anything. GG Dax. We'll, we'll, we'll maybe touch on that one later, but uh, uh, could have saved a team. Could have saved a team. Just saying, Kane. Just have to pop your support ultimates out. GG Dax, like, all right, I give up on this one, and uh, that was one of a bit of a yikes. Yeah, it's like, all right, my bad team. You know, let's uh, let's regroup my and try and figure out what's happening because. I don't mind the idea, but it's like you're trying to hit a ball when they're already in ball form. It can get a little dicey. Just just a little dicey. As you can see, Becomix has the EMP okay. lurking on this high ground. Going to try and catch him as soon as they actually commit to this fight. EMP, not an ultimate to initiate, but much better to actually use once the fight's already begun. Imagine put Comrade on the ground in killing range for Waffle Iron. Kane didn't find much more else, and in fact, they're gonna lose out on Beans, and that's a brutal tick to lose. Trade outs, yeah, Agu is still alive. A bone trying to run away as fast as possible. Eh, you're still gonna be on your feet, the pocket of Rom King. Keep you up in the pale! The pale, no. please, I'm gonna touch! No! Oh, Surely no. not! Just after all the crazies we've had this series, we're gonna add a C9 to that list as well. Uh, and they win the fight. And they win the fight. That is. Well. 
Eh, I don't know if it eh. would have mattered. Yeah, eh. no, they're able to clean okay. up. Okay. But I think that might also be part, partially mental boomage that probably <laughs> just went on <laughs> during that call. It was like, uh, it's like, I don't mind them being aggressive. You want to try and push the back line of Kane. Again, especially with this ball comp. You've got to find those who are isolated. But that's, uh, that's painful. That is painful. Yeah. Full Swarm goes wide, too. Amaris just needs something to go their way at this point. Something must go the way of the Foxes. Because, hey, they're knocking on their doors. Duplicate use in an effort to stay alive. Onto the Sombra of all characters. And, ugh, lose out on Caesar Salad. They've been taking the beating instead of Rom King this time around. But it doesn't matter. You're still down to support. And the goo has turned to a dust pancake. All right, that's at least something going your way. Waffle Iron, though, not having any of it. Salm Barrier popped on through. Kane lurking on a second life, essentially. And they're going to be seeing that golden box of victory, or at least uh, sending them to that next round. Marist not able to find a clean regroup, only forcing Kane back slightly. Yeah, forcing him back. Stick hits. Oh, actually, you know, eaten Wait. by GGDX. What? He no, the cleanse was used. DM was used underneath oh, it to eat it up. That is massive. Genius. Or, and, or not. Oh. oh. I mean, it was it was a nice play. It was a nice touch. Unfortunately, it doesn't matter as the Wrecking Ball just thinks everything is a bowling pin. And uh, goodbye, Morris. It was a last-ditch effort here on this defense, but it was a bit rough. Kane being back on their primary composition, and this is why you're afraid of this squad. Leo Leone, in particular, the help of Agu and the comics, and there's the EMP to shut down any last dreams that Morris had of holding onto this objective. Oh. We're gonna trade out two for two. Please stand the this time. That's all I have to say. Unfortunately, that pale though is exactly where the Wrecking Ball floating around Leo Leone is unstoppable. Has over a thousand HP and a minefield to go with. I mean, who is even able to kill a hamster of this magnitude? Is there salad though? Grabbing a goo. It's only the hamster. Like, he doesn't even have to move at this point. He's just waiting for the players to walk into him. That's another beautiful pile drive chain. Second sound barrier of essentially this objective online and uh, these guys they're scrappy they're messy they ain't gonna be pretty but at the end of the day it appears that Kane will stand on top as the dust starts to settle and put Maris into further rounds it's only a 30 second difference between the teams Maris almost brought that back got a they little did. bit sketchy there for Kane it was just the wrecking ball left on point after Maris got both supports but like you said, all he has to do there is like, all right, I'm going to chill on point. I got my mind down. Try me. Like, that's that's really about all he did was like, come on. I'm like, I know you want to try and get me. Let's go. Let, let's, let's do it right now. And it just did not work. Maris had no way of really punishing the ball. They didn't have a Samara. The Echo wasn't able to really get the ball even down to half health to try and finish it with the finishing beam. So not bad there for Maris, but honestly, Kane, that's, this is the Kane we like seeing, right? This is the Kane. All right, we're going to show the wacky ball comp. And it's actually going to work. And they'll actually just go out on defense, which is a little bit harder to run. You have to be a little more methodical yeah. about your engages. You can't spawn Camp Rom King like you did over <laughs> on your offense. But oh, yeah. it could work, especially with how this first round is set up. It is so spotty in some of these spots. This de defense ball could work. It can. And if... Kane needs something to go right. It's been this wrecking ball, and it's really the only thing they've actually found success on, now that you think about it. So, uh, the fact that you're not switching it up, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, and they're gonna keep running onto the hamster until essentially Morris come back and absolutely pound them with this Doomfist comp. Very little time to work with, though. Pushing the payload is gonna be a main priority, forcing as much progress as possible. But again, finding these timings, these small windows to coordinate between the disruption of a tank and the additional damage of either a bone or comrade. And Maris, you're asking for a lot of team coordination that Leo Leone's entire job is to disrupt. They just, oh, yeah, they punched Leo no, off. No! They were almost waiting for it at that <laughs> choke, and it was perfectly executed. Hack goes on to Waffle Iron, and everything is crumbling around Kane right now. It'll have to be a reset. And Maris, you needed the first fight to go well, and well, you did exactly what you needed to do. <laughs> you bait Leo Leon into the bait of all time, and uh, eh, certainly a cannibal if you've ever seen one. But uh, yeah, Kane will have their numbers back. Very fast composition, and 
Very spread out, though. I mean, Leone hasn't found a successful dive or really the means to go in, Beans. Is hanging on for dear life. The pressure from both teams yet. But either dive has found anything. It's the pulse bomb. A bone onto a goo of all players. And finally, light up the kill feed. But they're slightly more red than blue. A 4v3 in favor of Maris. They need it more. Being an overtime cap. And the bone getting that pick onto Waffle Iron. And a significantly greater ult charge on the side of the current attackers. It's going to be enough to push them through this first objective. And now Kane really needs to be an overdrive especially with how much a bone has been doing. Yeah, a bone's been lighting it up on the Tracer. We saw them light it up on Sojourn earlier. And overtime will continue on here for Marist. And they have more ultimates to work with as well. They have the sound barrier, almost a 30% advantage over Waffle Iron, who does not really, is not really close to having it quite yet. You'll have to get a little bit deeper into this fight to have it, but a lot of eyes onto a goo. About to have that yep. pulse. They need to stick it. <gasps> Ooh, a bone. Ooh. Almost died there, but all right. Agu, this is your time to shine. You've done it before. Can they do it again? No stick, no kill. The Zero gets Caesar Salad before the Sal Barrier comes out. That's an even better situation to go uh, through the minefield uh, on point. They just get off the car. I, 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 four C9? Forced? All right, all right, I, yeah, I will say that. If there was the minefield there. I'm not. I'm Maybe a point five. A point five. I don't know if they were even in a spot to touch, but like you said, sound barrier off the board, right? They get Caesar salad really early and everything kind of crumbles around them at that point. So I I'm not going to count them. We're not counting two C9s yeah, in, in yeah, one yeah, map, yeah, yeah, unless yeah. it's, unless it's blatant, please, please don't have another blatant one. Um, <laughs> please no. But I liked that Maris at least like, hey, we're going to go the Sombra. Like Kane has been running it and more just for the Doomfist, honestly, than anything. But like, oh no, they have a ball. We're, we are going to try to run this Sombra and worked to decent effect other than leo yeah they were able to get that minefield down and go from there as i know i talked about the horse making an appearance i didn't think this now? would be the context of what okay that's huh? okay and they they will go the the ana break that we thought they would see with the sub okay, okay. um death ball like if somebody dives in we are going to execute them that's the vibes i'm getting or close hold all right i'm close here for hold. this okay i like this i i do like this because as long as you play compact yes obviously cage gonna try and boop you around oh, whether caesar it be salad. leo or becomix um caesar salad I, I like that they're playing a little far away though don't don't yeah. go into the mess yeah, that, that's uh, honestly, there's not an ideal position for you to be playing in. And uh, all right, you're off to a successful start from Maris. Uh, perhaps not expecting the Orisa, but that's what I was afraid of happening. You see the Ana all up by her lonesome, and uh, you're just going to chase her. You're going to free elimination. How's the Orisa going to stay alive in these long fights? Well, the big question for me is how is Leo going to stay alive in these fights as well? As soon yeah. as they walked in earlier, they got javelin, they got hit with grenade. And they were at like 70 health by the time they went back into spawn to heal. That time around, same thing. It's going to be a little tricky, they're but I do camping. agree. They're going to spawn. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Can you imagine if they're attacking? Well, Caesar Cell's still on the high ground. Now, that's both DPS committed. So it's still a 4v3 in the front lines. And they're just letting Caesar Salad be the bait for the team. Wrong King and a bone have done an excellent job just cleaning up the rest. They don't have a support line anymore, though. So this is the time that you need to take that reset and kind of back off. Unless you want to try and get the straight ah! oh, oh, Wow. Okay. And they're, I think, just going to die at this point. They don't want this cart moving at all. They're gonna try and commit to it as much as they can. Well, except the bone. There's no reason. For it. No, uh, 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 twice, twice now, <laughs> bone. I gave you the, the benefit of the doubt the first time. That time, not so much. But don't. I thought you were about the all too. All right, you're switching. All right, all right. That, that, that's that's all right. On the tracer, that actually makes a ton of sense, especially as they're heading into an overtime push. So I mean, Mars, they accomplished exactly what they wanted to there. Oh, exactly what they wanted to. It's basically overtime. By the time it's Payload's even getting to gas station, which is massive. You would have to lose two fights in a row here, maybe even two and a stall to lose this map. But Kane are getting these uh -oh. open. But Comics dies! They're gonna die, and there's a Terra Surge online. GG Jax pulling it out. They'll have to fade all the cool down pop, but the Wrecking Ball is gonna be slapped right into the middle of it. Woo, what a way to take out the hamster and send a message to Kane that you guys might be wacky, you might be causing the chaos, but Maris have managed to tame it, pull back on the range and push themselves up to a match point.
Okay, Marist. Okay. This is you. This is not what I thought was going to happen on that map. <laughs> so you look at Route 66, and it's like, all right, Dive City for the first two areas of it. And it historically is, but they were able to find an answer the second time around, bringing out the Orissa. And like, all right, we're going to throw you something that you guys probably don't expect. Basically, the exact opposite of what happened on Li Zhang Night Market, right? It's like, yeah. oh, we're going to show you something. You're probably not expecting it. And you don't have the time to counter it because, hey, ticking time, you don't have it. So Maris go to series point as we get ready for push, which the ball is not good at because push no. like as a game mode is a death ball game mode yeah. so it is extremely hard for a ball to work and honestly maris that was a map they needed to win and they did no here's what i am gonna say though if you if you're the slightest bit of superstitious i've casted for kane three times this this entire year every single time they have gone to five maps and every single time they have won Okay. Just saying. Just saying. It's possible for this team to come back and clutch. There isn't a doubt in my mind. This is still a very close game, even if there are some fundamental questions going around. Maris yeah. have come on top of the chaos so far. Push in itself, though, can lead itself to this more, as you said, death ball type of game style. So things are going to get crazy. They're going to feed further into this play style that's already been forced. But it, in reality, it is up to Kane to make that decision to find some sort of response. Because now your go-to composition no longer valid. What else do you have left to show us? Unless they want to go, you know, to that Winston dive that they almost teased a little bit yeah. on Route 66. I would have said Esperanza, but we're not. We're going to go up north a little bit over at no, Canada. No, really? New Queen Street really? will be our map, which feels like forever since I've seen New Queen yeah. Street. It's almost like everyone's kind of tabooed that map as well. It's almost like with Route 66, maybe not to that extreme, but everyone's like, oh, we love Coliseo. Mm. We love Esperanza, and we kind of just push. In Queen Street, away. Um, not because of the poutine, though. Poutine's great. Poutine, uh, is, poutine is very good. But I I don't know what Kane's going to run. It, it's weird to say because historically, like you said, like, oh, they love running these ball comps that we've seen, you know, all over the place. I don't know what they're going to run here. Let's be honest, Jesse. Do we ever know what Kane's no. going to run? No. <laughs> There's such a wild card in anything yeah. that they show up in. In the last series that they played against Northern Ohio, that they almost got reverse swept in, and they did select to go to this map. And for a very good reason, I will say, they started out incredibly strong, almost got it for a full capture before Ohio made like the comeback of a lifetime. I remember that push. game, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is where it gets dicey. So... They're going to stick with the Wrecking Ball seemingly to start it out. I'm not against it, especially if you're not, there's not a horse on the other side. That's where Morris actually were able to plant their flag and stand their ground. But you're going to lack that stability for the first part. And it's going to put this Wrecking Ball on the test drive once again. And Maris will go back over to the JQ, which they had okay. massive success, success with at, during times this series. And honestly, against the Wrecking Ball, if they can land the blades just like that, it could work. It slows him down, but Ken, you just have like a thousand HP. You have to get the Sombra and B-Comics. Oh, the Tracer, excuse me, to chase it down. They're going to look... Oh. Ugh. We're, we're back uh. to this. We're just back to this. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and like Morris are able to crush without their flag support player, which has kind of been the story of the day. And uh, even a bone is making a name for themselves in the series. By far and away, the player with the most in the kill feed. Look at that push. Must yeah, go. man, poor Rom King. They're just going to go back to the Moira. Yeah. It's like, just got to stay alive. And hell a brother out in the back. Of <laughs> they, are, they are struggling. But I think Kane need to maybe swap. Leo is, yeah, Ooh. it's just going to get shut down. In this ball, there is too much CC for them to try and deal with here from Maris. Basically, around GG DX. And the summer as well is not going to work. They are going to make the JQ mirror. That. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You force out the TP and now almost finish. Okay. Uh, they do lose out on Rob King again. I mean, oh if we've learned one thing about Maris, is that they do not get the support. So they're like, here, you're going to play an OP role and you're expected to live while you do it. You're not getting any assistance whatsoever it's tough it's tough out there for the life of a flex support but the fact that kane even if they're getting these picks aren't capitalizing on it 100 percent of the time is still pretty crazy 
And that's what they at least did that fight, right? Like, they had to do... All right, get Rob King, and that's something, you know, Goob and Comex have been great at this entire series. But what do you do after that, right? And that's where they've kind of stuttered a little bit. But that was a great start. Agu is kind of looming in the back line, but they are found out and not going to try and use the recall quite yet. No, and they're not going to have that opportunity to do the hack. Forcing it out would be Comex. Still on the Sombra, which is... And interesting to say the least. We'll see how that plays out in the longer run of things. We're more interested in this JQ matchup, but more specifically, how quickly Waffle Iron built up to that sound barrier, and that's essentially a fight winner on its lonesome game. No chance for them to be overrun with the amount of health they have. No, beautiful sound barrier from Waffle Iron just sets it. It's like, all right, Leo is not afraid in this duel. You would think maybe initially, like, you know, GGG Axe has played really well this series on the JQ up to this point. Leo has caught up in all percentage. They're basically both about to have it. They've done a great job these last two fights use, utilizing those knives and having crazy knife accuracy, but EMP! Ooh. Yeah, Rom King, you're not allowed to play the game. No coalescence, no nothing for you. But a beautiful rampage that hits on to three. The Suzu was already forced out. They weren't prepared for this to come in, and it's Maris. Perfect time to strike on the back, more specifically GG Dax. Coming in big, the Junker Queen, a comfort pick of theirs, as we're starting to see. So they're gonna turn that payload right around. Turning it right around, they don't use the Rampage though, which is a big, that is yeah. very big, especially because Maris, oh, they don't King. have cleanse, right? Beans, she's been able to use cleanse during some of these. She was able to live, at least for a little bit because of that during the last fight. Maris do not have that luxury and they don't have a Sombra yeah. to work with either. If they landed on at least three, Kane could easily win this fight. Yeah. This, this can't spike win, as you said. Yeah. It's just a matter of them actually pushing the buttons or maybe not having to push the buttons at all. At I all. Mean, wow. I mean, you did the tank and? Rocket, no, pale, pale, pale. Okay, okay, okay. We stopped the robot. No forward spawns will be unlocked, just barely. But yeah, the fact that Kane used absolutely nothing here. Jesse, think about what this does for the future of the ult economy. Yeah, that's massive for their ult economy. You know, we're going to see if they can press the buttons. They just press W. That's the only one they needed to hit. They didn't need to hit the neighbor next door on Q. Um, just W. Speed, speed, and more speed from Kane. And, yeah, like you said, now they have the pulse bomb to work with if they want to try and get a sound barrier maybe late in the mid-fight as well to try and have them live. And Rob King almost with the Koa to maybe give Maris a chance? Oh, they got hacked out of it, I think. No, not why. No, that was no. That was just it was a whip. Okay, it's a freaking whip, and that was their fight. Jesse, how is this possible? Kane, you went the whole last time not having to use your buttons, but the time you actually decide to press them, it all just blows up in your face. What? My curse is transferred. I, I don't. Why? I don't know what else to say, Tiny. I, I'm sorry. This is. This is getting to uncontrollable territory uh, <laughs> with the amount of caster curses that have happened today. But like you said, they should have won that fight. They had every resource imaginable, and they will get forward spawn because of it. They're going to get forward spawn, and look at this. Rumpkin gets to play the game. And, oh, yep. Okay. Oh, no. Bye, Coalescence. <laughs> it, was, it was fun for the, the like the three seconds that it lasted. And uh, All right. Kane, they're back in this uh, trade across the board, but Maris certainly down in terms of the health bar. So Kane, they're going to manage to clean this up. Maris hitting that forward spawn, though, is going to be very big as this map continues to progress. We'll see if a bone gets it. Granted, they're the person that least, you know, affected by maybe not getting in that close spawn. Yeah. Um, but that was great. Just, hey, right before Kane is able to touch, they do get the close spawn. Uh, but yeah, we're going to cap this quick. Kane now need to win this fight. Make sure if it is going to go back and forth, each team are activating that forward spawn. They're gonna start moving on forwards and Kane, they, they have to hit this benchmark as soon as possible. I want the EMP to do it. Combo it off with the Katsune Rush. That is a recipe for success, or at least uh, how Rob King shall be going down. Rampage committed on top of this, though. Ugh, GG Tax, you would love to have that one back at your disposal. As, uh, yes, it was an old dump from Kane, and it gets the goal accomplished. And even Morris, it's gonna be in a rough situation for the next cup coming fights. Caesar Salad was just never in a position to pop their ult during that fight, not able to save the team. And now we are tied, soon to be lead here for Kane, unless we have a last second touch here from maybe Comrade. Uh, but they're gonna beat into the. Okay. Okay, they're gonna get the tank. 
tag in, so almost a draw, but not quite. Caesar Salad, yeah, you're gonna get the roar on back through. Sound barrier in play. Quick, easy, team wipe. What a polarizing series that we've had so far. The the nature of push, just back and forth, and it's like a ping pong yeah. game, just going back and forth and back, back and forth. forth. Yep, yep, um, yep, yep. and now hey, both sides do have the forward spot at least available if they hit that tick, which is going to be big for the longevity. If a team can win two fights in a row, that may honestly be deciding who wins this match. And honestly, yeah, this fight incredibly important. The comics caught out. Waffle Iron Sound Barrier is it gonna be the clutch moment. Already an even trade up. Uh oh, Rom King coalesce. It's only gets to use in more than three seconds. It does. In fact, it very well is winning. Maris, the fight in total, the one time Rom King is left to do exactly what he's wanted. It's the time where Maris can win the battle of Kane or sent to spawn. A massive fight win there for Maris. Like you said, Rom King got to actually play the game. Fun yes. fact, it helps you win the fight. Yes. Um, and that was great. And they also get what? the stagger as well. But Comics. I maybe just try to scout and gets caught out from a bone, but that is massive here. Just for progress now, 85 meters and counting. I don't feel like Sombra's gotten a ton of value at all. I mean, the Rampage from Kane is going to help turn it around. You don't have the cleanse, and uh, Rob King facing the brunt of that. You know, they're going to stand wise. Uh, Leo Leon just for another casual triple kill in the field. Speed. Why don't you? And, uh, all right, Kane, they're gonna get the turnaround here while looking at winning two to three consecutive fights to gain that lead. Gotta win, uh, as like we said earlier, if they win two fights in a row, it makes it doable. Maris were able to do that. They got to the 87 meter mark. Now it's up to Kane. Need to win one more and maybe even an extra one after that to get the lead. And at that point, we'll be getting eerily close to overtime. Beans has Kitsune yeah. Rush to try and engage, to try and build up the rest. EMP Rampage and an execution of Beans. Wow, even that hack coming through didn't do much at all. Maris are coming on through and this is such an important battle for their win. I mean, Kane, they must play flawless from here on out. Need to be flawless and the use Kitsune Rush will be the comics. The comics, what are you doing? Being, oh my, them and a doer back here. Just trying to make something of this, but it's not going to work. But comics is able to get out. And a goof for now will actually be able to. So at least no casualties, but again, more time gone. And it does get them up to the EMP and Pulse Bomb. Bare minimum. So Kane are walking into this with decent resources should they need to use them. Leone and a goof getting the support line out of the picture. So Morris and have to fall back and big thing. You have your abilities, Kane. Let's just use them properly this time. They get the big stagger on the comrade as well. That's massive here. For Kane is now they have the EMP. The Maris EMP was a big reason why they've stayed in this series and have the advantage now in this series. You gotta be able to land it here and save something for next. Ah, the EMP though, it doesn't hit a ton. The sound barrier easily able to respond to that and I mean Kane, but comics is gonna be the first casualty again. Waffle Hour sound barrier is it gonna save the day? Maybe not, but a coup! Oh, onto the tank. Limited stability available, nothing to stop this oncoming rampage, yeah. but it doesn't hit anybody! How has he done this? Again, Leo Leone, Kane, surely their journey doesn't end here after a near flawless season. It is a Morris, the team who has struggled to find their identity to come out and take down one of the top dogs here in the ECAC. My goodness, what a comeback, what a series. Morris are gonna win out their final game of the regular season. What a performance here from Maris. They're like, hey, we know you're going to run this ball comp. We found the answer that teams have been looking wow. for for a long time. And even though, yes, Leo showed that, hey, we can go over to the junk of the week and we can look decent. Maris got that advantage. And in, like, natural push fashion, it just comes down to who can win those two fights in a row. And Maris were able to do that. And they got to that 87-meter mark. What a nice little end cap for the season here for Maris. Too. Like you said, They've had a little bit of the struggle finding their identity. They haven't really been sure how they wanted to play this. It's been a weird meta for them. But that time around, able to get it done. And all of a sudden, these standings get a little bit more interesting now. 
and this was an important game for both teams being yeah. that last week. And this was Maris chance to break into that postseason. So while it's not completely in their hands, their hopes are alive. They just need Fisher freaks to beat out uh, Ohio Northern. I believe it is in their match later this evening, where as Kane, they wanted this match win to secure that first seed. And now that's gone. You're looking at third or fourth, even for the squad. And, and it's an unfortunate way to end their season, but both of these teams wanting to make it to that post. And while Kane, they're still guaranteed if the journey's not over yet for a squad such as what we just saw from Marist. Yeah. If you're Kane's like, all right, this is the reality check that, you know, sometimes coaches say like, Oh, we want a loss right before the postseason to be like, this is what we need to fix. You know, sometimes it sucks having that loss, yeah. but for Kane, it may honestly be a better thing that could happen to them. It's like, okay. Hey, we did lose. We need to fix some stuff, right? Because we're obviously not in the exact spot we want to be going into playoffs. If you're Maris, like, hey, we gave ourselves a chance. Now you just got to yeah. leave it into the hands of Fisher. We talked about him in the beginning of the series. They're not typically a team you want to go against. And Ohio Northern yeah. definitely have their hands full in that game for sure. Uh, but they go from rooting against Ohio Northern a lot of the year and Fisher as well to rooting a big Fisher fan tonight yeah. and how embarrassed have turned into. <laughs> And, and what a feel good this has to be for yeah. Maris. I mean, they st came in two and three, negative, and they're finishing with mm -hmm. an even season. And it's not bad. Their group is terrifying no. to deal with. I mean, it's not a true statement to how good this team actually is. And perhaps that caused Kane to underestimate their opponent coming into today's series. And nonetheless, Maris, they're going to be happy with the result that they have come away with today. And we're going to be able to hear some of that happiness ourselves as we do have an interview confirmed with the tank GG Dax coming up momentarily so don't go anywhere we'll be right back in a couple minutes with that interview
forces a jump with it this time, and they both stand shielding in the gun smoke, but eventually they both back off again. Pops him up with a bomb and finally gets an up air right there. He was so dangerous. And if it connected, it was likely to stock. So many things can kill Trajan now at 167. They cannot afford another strong hit here. Staying up high, and they go for the downer on the platform, and Kiwi is there. As soon as it gets that uh, PK fire into the grab, a little bit of a scramble situation, knowing that the laser is going to come out. It's aired away instead. Arrow doesn't land. Neither of them get to the stage. They get back aired instead. All the way across they go. Bomb in hand. They get side beat as well. And the falling hitbox will lead to the up smash. The dangerous opportunity here. 86% again. Rolls in. This time he gets caught. Sweet spot back air. And that will do it. Out. Gyro on the opposite side of the stage. Dash attack catches the landing. But they will not find the stock quite yet. Forward air will not keep me away once more. They recover high. And they will get caught by the up air. From the right side of center stage. High recovery here from Kiwi. They'll land it onto the high group, but they won't be able to connect it. And that's another aerial, and this one will do the trick. And what? there instead, Gamer Dog surviving. And we talked about it before. You mentioned Touch of Death character if they find the opening. Another absorb back to zero. Gyro is out and in play. You get it in his hands though. He wanted it at the last moment, but the we'll be able to get the back throw off the mash out. Maybe let him get out instead. Damage being racked up. Linny recovering low here, and he cannot really challenge. Now a grab back throw, and it's one sock apiece. And we've seen that Tommy running. Oh! oh! What? It's Viz Rain here on, on Tree that's defending it proper, and they might be able to make magic happen with 2K. Can they pull off a third? No. Nine Dead might be able to have a wonderful shot. Thrash doesn't see him. A Rolling Thunder is going to push everyone away from C main, but Brain Dead is in the perfect position. Oh my god, brain dead. There's no way. It's just kind of that holding pattern that we're gonna see. There's gonna be a nice stun. Oh, here's the opportunity that you needed, but nobody checks it. Doesn't boot goes down. Brain dead gonna be able to find two. Make it three. Do you have that would have been the best scenario, but brain dead actually with a shrouded step on top of the box. Remove them from their head. Now it's a problem though. Jelen open and clear out the rest of them. Here's the opportunity. You get the rest as well to brain dead. Now it's gonna be three. It's gonna be so difficult for Fizz. Oh, but he finds one. Make it two. And he gains. My goodness, what a way to end the ECAC regular season for their Overwatch division. And what a comeback from Marist in, in today's series. And uh, you, we can say it was a fun, fun time watching what was unfolding. Yeah. A little bit of chaotic, but certainly fun nonetheless. And we get to go even further into the fun and hear how it was behind the scenes as the tank player will be joining us from Marist GG Dax as it come in for an interview. Thank you so much for coming in. And uh, first of all, I, I I gotta know, a after what was almost a headache of a game, as we were talking about up here, what, what was really going through the team's comms throughout that series? Um, so, mainly it was just us playing to our strengths. Uh, we're a really adaptable team. We all have really yeah. deep hero pools. So, we were all just really trying to figure out what's the best way we can overcome their strengths. And, especially after map one, we started figuring out their ball comp and then matching them on the brawl and really just working it from there. So were you guys surprised that you guys went to King's Row? And you guys picked King's Row, but onwards, like, Route 66, it can be a little bit of a weird map and not a very often scrimmed map. When you guys were going into that map, what were you guys thinking? Did you expect the ball? Were you expecting a little bit of something? Because we saw, we saw a whole lot. We saw, like, a Yahtzee board full of comps in that map. Oh, yeah. That, that was a mix-up. But actually, funnily enough, we actually scrimmed that map on Sunday. We played it okay. on Monday against ONU. Ooh. And and then now we're playing it again here. And we were expecting the ball comp all four rounds. Um, but once they got success on their attack, we knew they were going to keep with it. And so we really just figured out the Arisa comp from there. Um, Rom King was actually the one that um, really started with the Arisa comp. He said, let's do Arisa, let's do Brig. And then everyone else was able to piece together the composition from there. Okay, and I was going to ask, like, obviously the new patch that just came in, Maga Meta No More, you sounded pretty happy about that when we were yeah. in the green room right before. So what do you guys feel kind of is the meta that is settling down? You guys showed a lot of looks. And I think the Arista comp even has been something that's been lurking. Yeah, so on our end, um, we obviously the flexibility lets us play a lot, but we think the meta is really settling in with either the Zarya or the JQ metas that we were showing. Okay. Um, I think if, if teams have good like like ball players like Keen just had, 
um, obviously they're going to play into that. And it was a really good comp to play against, and we had a lot of fun with that. Um, but I think overall it's going to come into a brawl with Zarya or the JQ. And that looks really great for you guys as well, especially being some of the, the strongest points that we saw from, from you with out, throughout this series. And I do, I do have one more slightly less serious question. Or we've, we've been kind of pondering here on the desk. Like This specifically came to light. Li Zhang Tower and Route 66 were the two biggest ones, maybe a tiny bit on New Queen Street. Are your supports being used as bait? <laughs> okay, so when we were running, I forget what map it was when we put someone on Zenyatta. Yes, that was a complete bait. Okay. Um, okay. but the most Ana? times, uh, the honor wasn't really a bait. Um, okay. except, um, when they got the first pick on Anna, yeah, we were using him as bait to take the four v four, four v three fights. Okay. Um, but other than that, no. Typically, our supports come in on the dive with us, and so we all fight as one big dive. Uh, we typically don't like to bait the supports that well or that often. Okay, that actually that makes me feel a lot better <laughs> for the <laughs> support players. I mean, that that was that was an experience nonetheless, and it actually is really cool to hear the strategies that you have behind that that we wouldn't have found out if you didn't join us for this interview, which we really do appreciate. And you know, unfortunately, while your season does end here in the ECAC, I, I want to give you the opportunity, kind of give you the floor for any sort of shout outs, final comments that you'd like to make here on the stream. Oh, thank you. Um, I, I want to thank you guys first for letting us come on here and letting us compete. It's been a blast. Really fun season, fall and spring. Um, shout out to all the guys, um, Bone, Bear, Comrade, Risings, Rome, and uh, Caesar. Great run this semester. Ariana, if you're watching, great run in this fall. Um, family, thank you for letting us get here. Uh, but yeah, no, it's been one hell of a run, and we want to thank everyone for letting us get this far. It's so wholesome. I absolutely love that. I mean, it's, it's been a pleasure awesome. to have you guys up on the stage today. And it, it's, it truly never is a, a single player. It's all about the community, the team, and behind yeah. it. And we're going to look forward to see where Marist Overwatch continues to go from here on out. Thank you again, GG Dax, for joining us on the desk. We'll go ahead and bid you farewell for the evening. Go ahead. Tip -top thank you. Thank you. Hmm? Thank you, Dax. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. We put salty. Oh, what a day. What a day we've had. What a series that was. A nice little, you know, nice interview at the end there. It sucks that yeah, they are sadly eliminated from playoff contention. We did uh, talk about that during the break. There was a sense of hope in the casting booth. Like, hey, mm -hmm. that win might have been it. But no, the tiebreaker, uh, no matter what, goes to Ohio Northern. So sadly, the end of the road here for the Red Foxes. I believe they have one other tournament coming up. Plus uh, the newly... Uh, announced Overwatch collegiate system. So mm -hmm. obviously their semester is not done, but their season here with ECAC is. But hey, they went on a great note, and it's good to know Rom King yes. was not the uh, the sacrificial <laughs> lamb that we thought he was going to be during some of these fights. Yeah, it, hey, sometimes having the leading desk in the lobby, is whether the fact that you're going in there and you're not getting tilted while you're doing that, I mean, that's what matters. Yeah. And eventually you're making it into a strat. I mean, it's great. Even throughout all of the craziness we saw on the screens that these players, because of how good they are at the game and how knowledgeable, they're able to take these incredibly ridiculous situations and paint them into something that's more manageable, find those patterns and be able to work off of them. And it's what can separate these truly good Good teams from the amazing ones that stand at the top and, and it's really what we love in collegiate overwatch as a whole yeah it's been awesome and i think like this maris team like seeing them like hey it doesn't matter what this result is like no matter what their season was ending tonight sadly but like no yeah. we're gonna give it everything still we're, oh, yeah. we're gonna give it everything oh, yeah. we got and it was great to see kind of them take down kane and again kane reality check that that's what that match was that was a reality check back down to earth there for the cougars who yeah. uh, may have needed that before playoff time. But yeah, what a series to end out. And uh, curious to see where Marist Overwatch continues on back in fall. Yeah, we're going to have to keep an eye on this team as we progress into our next ECAC season. But we still have so much more to come here. Uh, not necessarily with ECAC Overwatch, but with the rest of the competition happening under Esports U. We're going to have our CECC Last Chance Qualifiers for Rocket League taking place tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern and following on Friday for the Valorant LCQ at 7 p.m. Eastern. Make sure to go ahead, follow the Esports U Twitch channel to stay updated on all of these upcoming collegiate matches 
because my goodness, you are not gonna want to no. miss them. Twin Salty, it's been great being up here with you on the desk today. And it's very sad that we do have to bid farewell, but we all get to get some rest to be prepared for the ton of esports to come the rest of the week. Have a great night, everybody, and we'll see you back tomorrow.